In today's video, I'll show you how you can zoom in the easiest way in DaVinci Resolve. Once inside DaVinci Resolve, we have to click on the video clip to which we want to apply the zoom effect. Then we go to the inspector panel located in the upper right part. We must look for the function of dynamic zoom and activate. We click on this circle to activate. Now, DaVinci Resolve will have applied a zoom out, a reverse zoom. The camera starts close and then moves away. If we want to do just the opposite that the camera approaches, we must press the swap button. When clicked, we can verify that now the camera actually gets closer instead of moving away. Perfect. Now I'm going to show you the types of zoom speed that we can choose. In the section Dynamic Zoom Ease, if we click, these four options will appear. The first of all is Linear. It is a normal zoom where it remains at the same speed throughout the video. Secondly, we have the Ease In. The zoom starts slow and increases speed as it approaches the end of the video. The third option is Ease Out. The zoom starts fast and slows down towards the end of the video. And the Ease In and Out is the union of these last two. Very well. Once this has been explained, we choose the option that we want. Now I will show you how you can manually modify the dynamic zoom. This is the most important part. We must have our video selected and click on this little arrow. Now we must select the option of dynamic zoom. These two colored rectangles will appear. The green rectangle indicates the part where the zoom of our video begins and the red box where the zoom ends. We can modify the size of these two rectangles if I click on any circle in the corners. Decreasing the red box, we can make the zoom end much closer to the face. We can see that the zoom gets much closer. If we modify the green rectangle, now the zoom will start at the new position I have placed the green box. As you can see, now the video starts much closer to the face. Now I will show you how you can pan with the dynamic zoom tool. To do this, first, we have to modify the green rectangle, which is where our video will start, and place it on the left side. I want the video to start showing the woman and move to the right until it shows the man. We move the red rectangle, which is where our video will end and I place it on the right side. Perfect. We will have a pan moving from left to right. With this example, I'm going to do the same thing. But this time, I want the video to start at the top, which is just seeing the man. Like this. I want just to see the man and then the camera move down and focuses on the papers on the table. Now I adjust the size of the red rectangle and put it on the table with the papers. Right here and I already have the movement of this video as I want it. 